Hello, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video today. I really appreciate it. This is gonna be an awesome video. This has been a video that I've been very excited to make. It is going to be a Sunday Swap complete guide. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that you need to know about Sunday Swap. We're gonna be looking at farming. We're gonna be looking at liquidity providing. We're gonna be looking at some of the tokens listed on Sunday Swap. We're also gonna be looking at how to list your own token. We're also gonna be looking at how to trade your ADA for any other tokens on the decks, whether that be Sunday, Liquid, World Mobile token, a lot of the tokens that you guys have been looking for, excited for, they are going to be in this video today. And I'm also gonna be providing some education because there is some risk here. So make sure you guys stay till the end of the video to find out any of the risk that you can encounter because we are dealing with real value here, real money, real tokens. So be careful, this is a new DEX. Make sure what you're, uh, you're doing, uh, you're testing out first, but we're gonna be giving you that guide in this video today. If you guys like it, make sure you like the video. I would really appreciate it. Comment down below to support the algorithm. Also, if you have any questions, also click subscribe, hit the notification bell because we have to admit that the Sunday Swap has DEX has just launched. However, there will be new updates and iterations and more things for you to know about Sunday Swap. And you have luckily come to the right place because I will release all of this information for you as it comes out. And all you have to do is click the notification bell. Let's jump into the video today. So first, what is a DEX? A DEX actually stands for a decentralized exchange. And the reason I'm so excited is because Sunday Swap is the first automated market maker on the Cardano blockchain. And what that allows people to do is take two token pairs, ADA World Mobile Token, ADA Sunday, and submit them to liquidity pools to allow others to trade those tokens back and forth. Uh, it really is uh, revolutionary, even in finance, in my opinion, because you can trade any Cardano native asset and anyone can submit a token for you to add to the decentralized exchange. So uh, let's just get that out of the way, but let's actually jump into uh, the meat of the video today. So first things first, all you have to do is go to sundayswap.finance and I'll have that link down below. Of course, once you're here, you can actually go ahead and click enter app. Once you're in the app, if you've interacted with Ethereum or any other blockchain, you know that you're gonna have to connect a wallet to it. Uh, unfortunately, there are only two wallets available now. And that's why I mentioned earlier that I'm gonna have more Sunday Swap guides coming soon, whether it be how to claim your ISO rewards or how to connect a different wallet or how to interact with the DEX in a unique, unique way or you know maybe even a video on how to earn Sunday tokens more efficiently. So once you're actually here, uh, first you gotta click dark mode you know, for the eyes, you gotta appease the eyes there, and then you click connect wallet. And there are two wallet options available currently. We have Nami and we have CC Vault. There are no hardware wallet options available. However, they stated that these hardware wallet options will be added very soon. Uh, this is definitely a, a bit of a bother for me as well. I, I like to keep all of my funds uh, on hardware wallets. So Nami and CC Vault are your two options there. So what are we gonna do if there is no ability to use your Euroi wallet or your Daedalus wallet on Sunday Swap? Well, I recommend actually just creating a new wallet in CC Vault. Another option is you can take that same mnemonic phrase and recover it uh, in CC Vault. You know, I've done that before with many of my wallets. However, if you're worried about that for security reasons, you can remain on Euroi, remain on Daedalus, and then create a new wallet on CC Vault. Once you have that new wallet set up, you can just take a little bit of ADA that you wanna trade and send that over to your new wallet on CC Vault. You'll have to do the same thing as well. If you're on hardware wallets, you will have to create a new wallet, take the hardware wallet, send some ADA from that hardware wallet to a mnemonic phrase wallet, either on Nami or CC Vault. But as I stated earlier, I really do recommend CC Vault. So after we've actually set up our CC Vault and we've transferred the ADA over from Euroi or Daedalus uh, or a hardware wallet, unfortunately, we can actually go to CC Vault now. You can actually open that browser extension. Once you're here, we're actually gonna click this Enable DAP Account button. So once that is set, we're good to go, but we are not done just yet. We're actually gonna have to go to Settings right here, and then we're gonna go to Collateral, and we're gonna enable that. And once we've done that, we're actually gonna click Set Collateral, and then you're gonna have to type in your spending password. 
And again, there will be a fee here, you know, to set the collateral, but it'll be about 0.2 ADA. It's not too bad. So awesome. We've submitted the collateral and now we have to wait for the blockchain. See you guys in a second. Okay, we can see both transactions have gone through. One, the internal transfer, which was us actually setting collateral to interact with the DEX. And the second transaction that has gone through was the receiving the ADA to load up the wallet to actually, you know, also be able to interact with the DEX. And also going back to account here, we have to make sure that the DAP account is enabled. So we're good to go. Now we can go back to the Sunday swap interface. Once we're here, we can go ahead and click connect wallet, agree to the terms and click CC vault. Heck yes, our wallet is now activated. So there are a few different tabs here. We have home, we have swap, we have liquidity and we have orders. So first, what is swap? Swap is actually very simple. It's exactly what it sounds like. Swapping is actually taking ADA or any Cardano native asset, other tokens that you have and swapping them for the other token that you want in a decentralized way. It's very exciting. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's actually purchase some Sunday today. You know, that's uh, what most of us are mostly excited for here. So we're gonna actually click the Sunday and ADA pair. And you can see some more pairs here. There's all types of token pairs in here. Liquid, World Mobile Token, ADAX, Pavia, VIFI, some tokens you've all heard of, I'm sure. So we can then go ahead and here click swap. We're actually gonna click this arrow to bring it back because we're actually gonna be trading ADA for the Sunday token. So we're actually gonna go ahead and type in, we'll do, we'll do about 15 ADA today. So you can actually click uh, this little arrow down here in the bottom right hand corner. That's gonna expand and it's gonna give you some more information. And one thing that we have to pay attention to is the slippage impact right here. Slippage is very important because the more slippage you have, the less chance that you're gonna get the best price for your token. For example, right here, we actually have slippage impact zero. Price impact is actually in the green, it's positive. And our slippage tolerance is 1.25%. So stating that 1.25% slippage means, let's say we're trading 100 ADA, we'll make the math very simple. So at 100 ADA, if you have a slippage tolerance of 1.25%, then that means that you're willing to essentially trade 99 ADA is worth. And that's the worst case scenario is you'll lose 1.25% of the value when you go to trade. And you might start to ask yourself, why would I do this? Wouldn't I just want to, you know, have the lowest slippage possible? Well, you have to fine tune it. You have to choose between the right slippage so your order will go through, but also, you know, a slippage that you're comfortable with. Because if you set that to a very high percentage, like 80%, you can lose a lot of the value of the token that you're trying to trade. So make sure you pay attention to that. It's very important. So now we're actually gonna go ahead and click swap right here. And then once we click swap, we're gonna go ahead and click order swap. And this is gonna say ordering a swap of 15 ADA. And this is when you're actually gonna get another tab pulled up and this is gonna be the CC vault tab. We're gonna go ahead and type in our password there and then we're gonna sign the transaction. So now the transaction is waiting. This is gonna take some time, so we're gonna skip. So after the swap went through, you can see that it changed the notification a little bit. It says waiting to be scooped, ordered swap 15 ADA for Sunday. Very exciting, this is actually my first swap on mainnet, which is pretty cool. Uh, once we go to orders here, we can see that the on-chain open orders, you can see we have our 15 ADA input sitting there and uh, we're gonna have to wait. You know, the blockchain's been a little congested lately. It's not Sunday swap that's making you wait this long. It is actually the Cardano blockchain. However, there are many improvements that are coming soon so this uh waiting and, and and sitting here waiting for these to process it really will be a thing of the past i also want to add in there that you know how you actually see your tokens is you just go to the token tab and then they'll show up right in the token tab and you might be asking yourself where are my tokens it's going to take a little bit of time because of the congestion uh, so your tokens will show up here as long as the order goes through and you'll be able to see that in the orders tab that i showed earlier so now let's talk about ways that you can earn Sunday. And also we're going to be also doing a liquidity providing guide in this part of the video too. So uh, the first way you can earn Sunday is by delegating to any of the Sunday ISO scoopers. And for five epochs, you still have four days to delegate. As long as you delegate before the epoch change on the 25th, you will be able to earn Sunday tokens from delegating to those stake pools and you'll have to claim them from the DEX itself. And I also recommend to not delegate to any of those Sunday stake pools if they are over 68 million ADA. 68 million actually 
is where the rewards start to go down for everybody in the pool. So do not delegate to a pool above 68 million. Uh, however, uh, Bloom is a scooper. Uh, we have Bloom through Bloom 6. All are designed to pay the same Sunday rewards, ADA, and Bloom tokens over time. So feel free to delegate to us as long as we're not above that 68 million. We'll also have a link to all other scoopers in the description down below. The other way you can earn Sunday tokens is actually for providing liquidity. They stated that they're going to wait a little bit to do this, but there's going to be a farming tab that's going to be included in here, and it's going to include pairs that you can provide liquidity to, and then when you take those LP tokens, you actually are going to farm them from the farming tab on here, and I'll have a guide on that as soon as it's released, but to give you guys some education to tell you what's going to happen when it's released, it is going to be the Sunday and ADA token the liquid in ADA token, and also the world mobile token in the ADA token. So if you provide liquidity to those, you're gonna get LP tokens to show for the liquidity that you provide, and then you can take those LP tokens and then farm them for Sunday rewards. I will have a farming guide for you guys when it comes out. And there are also cards in ADA is another pair. However, cards has not been ported over, so really it's just these three pairs. And it's gonna be you know, uh, more Sunday rewards until cards actually brings those over. So let's talk about providing liquidity to Sunday Swap, and let's talk about some risk. You know, earlier we talked about slippage and how you can lose a certain percentage of what you're trading relative to the slippage tolerance that you have. Well, when you provide liquidity, there is risk there, and that risk is called impermanent loss. Uh, the CIO of Sunday Swap actually came on my podcast today and talked about this, so please click the link down below to hear him talk about impermanent loss and, and what that means for you and what that means for providing liquidity. But for me to try to explain that for you, impermanent loss is really you losing the value that you could have. You have to submit two tokens, 50-50, right? Let's say we're doing an ADA and World Mobile tokens. When we submit ADA and we submit World Mobile tokens, impermanent loss is where one of those tokens goes up drastically. So let's say you know ADA is $1 and World Mobile tokens $1. Well, we have two liquidity pools that we're both providing liquidity to. But you know when World Mobile token is going up, well, that means that there's gonna be less World Mobile tokens and more ADA to account for the World Mobile price going up. So when that happens, you try, let's say you go try to withdraw the two tokens that you provided, ADA and World Mobile tokens, because World Mobile went up so much, when you go to withdraw it, you actually have more ADA than you do World Mobile tokens. So that is impermanent loss. You know, when you provide these tokens for liquidity, if they go up drastically and go down drastically, when you pull it out, you're gonna have a different value than what you put in and also a different number of tokens. So there is some risk there, and keep that risk in mind before you participate. When you do go to participate though, there is an incentive, and it's that farming incentive that I mentioned earlier. You cannot get that now. However, I will make a video on my channel how you can actually take these LP tokens that you get. And the whole process, the way it works is you provide those two tokens, you get LP tokens, and then you can go farm those tokens. And I'll have a video on just that, but I'm gonna show you guys right now on how you can provide liquidity. So when you come to provide liquidity, you could also be trying to provide liquidity for your own token. But I do want to say, depending on your jurisdiction, be very careful with that because it could be a security. Ask your lawyer. Remember, we are dealing with real value here and you're giving the people the ability to buy your token and you're actually setting the price when you get on here. So make sure you legally know what you're doing uh, before you do this. However, the way that you actually get on here and create your own pool is you provide liquidity, you do ADA, whatever token you wanna to provide, and then there's three fee tiers here. We have a 0.5% fee, which is obviously the cheapest, 0.3% fee, and 1% fee. This is actually what is charged to anyone that is coming to actually use the swap. They're coming to use the pair. And Sunday Swap states that the 0.05% is the best tier for stable pairs. So maybe these are pairs like ADA and World Mobile Token that are a bit more stable or ADA and Sunday. And then the 0.3% is the best for you know, most tiers, right? So maybe you know, your one's in the middle there or you're not sure so you go with this one. 
Whereas 1% may be the best for exotic pairs that are going up and down and crazy. So maybe like Hosky and, and I don't know, Drip or something, you know, I don't know the value of either of those. However, I'm sure that they would be a bit exotic in, in, in the way that they go up and down in the volatility. So select that, select whatever new token you want to provide and then go through with it. So now we're actually going to go provide liquidity to a pre-existing pool. However, you know, you're actually determining the amount that you're paid. Earlier we talked about a 0.05% fee, a 0.3% fee, and a 1% fee. You know, when you're providing these tokens, you're going to be paid a part of that fee for people that are coming through and trading. So if you want to be paid a 0.3% fee, make sure you click that. However, if you want to be paid less, then click that one. But we're going to go here and we're actually going to click the 0.3% because, you know, that seems a bit more fair to me. No financial advice. Make sure you guys are careful. We're going to click provide liquidity here. We're going to go ahead and type in the amount that we want to provide. And of course, it's a 50-50 pool. So we're going to go ahead and type. We're just going to do 50 ADA today. And then we're going to click provide liquidity. And then we're going to click order deposit. So then once the transaction is building, you're going to get another signature over here and then go ahead and type in that signature. So I have submitted that and now we are going to wait again. There's some blockchain congestion. However, this is going to be solved partially next epoch and then over the next few months, it's going to continually be solved, which I'm very excited for. I'm not a big fan of this congestion. It's my first time ever dealing with it. However, I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video today. This was my Sunday Swap Guide. There will be far more guides in the future. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you click that like button. If you made it till the end, type in Sunday Swap is here down below. I would really appreciate it. It lets me know that you guys made it till the end uh, and it warms my heart. It warms my heart. Also, if you you know if you haven't already, subscribe. Click the notification bell. All it really does support the channel. Uh, you know I do chase chase the algo, but I really enjoyed making this. I'm so excited that Sunday Swaps here, and I'm happy to provide some of this education back to you guys. Uh, also, feel free to join the Discord server down below if I miss your comment, because I make sure to answer all of your questions there. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and happy Sunday. This is the uh, final video for Sunday week. Hell yeah. Be safe, everybody.